Hey guys, welcome to another video. Yo, how are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So, in today's video, we're doing the media freak out tag and i watched my previous video the one i did last year and that was when i was new to the booktube community and all and i was like oh my god wow <laughs> and flies so um right now i'm filming in july so i've read some books already in july i think i would actually mention those books too because i've only read three books so far but yeah i'll mention those books too just you know because they also mean a lot yeah so the first question is my reading year goals my goal initially was to read 70 books this year but i have already read 73 at the moment so i increased my reading goal from 70 to 100 honestly i don't really really want to stress myself so yeah that was why i made it 70 in the first place even though i knew that i was going to past that because last year i read 114 books but honestly it doesn't really care uh, it doesn't really care it doesn't really matter how many books you read as far as you're reading and you're enjoying it th that's the cocoa i reread one book and it's this <laughs> my roommate is a vampire by jenna levine um it was gifted to me by promise and i loved it the first time i read it so I reread it again this year and honestly I still loved it again because it was funny, made me happy, I was laughing and it's about this vampire that needed a roommate uh, and she needed a place that she could stay because she was uh, sharing with her ex-boyfriend and stuff like that so she didn't know that he's a vampire and he wanted to learn from her so the connection, the, the best thing I like about this book is how they were communicating, how a cake he is because he's over 300 years old anyway there's so many fun, funny moments i really enjoyed this book best book you've read so far this year oh my god guys ah, i've given a lot of books five stars to be quite honest because i had i have had a very very good reading month but when i think about this question i feel like these two need to be mentioned and that's the first one the invisible life of adela rue by v schwab ah oh my god maybe it's because of how it was written it was poetically written it's about this girl that lived for 300 years she made a deal with the wrong god and it cost her it was a gift but but cost also because she cannot leave any mark on the head but we go along with her in these 300 years and seeing every experience and all i listened to this and i was reading at the same time that's immersion reading i was immersion reading and i really, really enjoyed it i was like wow i even cried at the end because it was just so sweet i feel like it's one of the best books i've read the second one is going to be this my less is a chemistry by bonnie gamos this one i also immersion read but uh not the whole thing i really love the fact that this character elizabeth zott no 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 she's very unforgettable because she wanted to be in science but you know all these stereotypes like uh concerning women that you should be in the kitchen or you cannot be a scientist and all that but she wanted to be a scientist and she proved them wrong she did so many things she went through a lot they put her on a cooking show <laughs> what i love most about this book is how uh character she was like you know when you're talking to someone and the person does not know that they are doing this particular thing she was so innocent and kind of naive socially <laughs> it was really really fun i really really love this i gave this infinity stars it's one of the best books so far i also read other books but yeah they were also good but you know the most memorable ones for me are these two at the moment best sequel you've read so far mm, i finished a good girl's guide to mother and this was my favorite in the old three four books uh and there's already a movie it's about this girl peep that goes around trying to solve some mother and then she steps on so many people's toes and all that i really like this one because at the end it felt so heartbreaking i didn't cry but it just felt so heartbreaking when she got to this point and and i'm like oh my god does this person really deserve to be forgiven or not you know that kind of vibe that's how i, I felt i body read this with my friend tosi it was really really a fun experience the old books were five five i think the last book is the my least favorite but it was not so bad then um shatter me i read ignite me uh honestly i really really loved how developed Juliet became how a character just blossomed in this chapter 
oh sorry in this book it was a whole refreshing and nice experience because we saw how she was disoriented in book one and book two and all but here things were just so yeah I really really liked it and also we saw more on Aaron's character which I liked new release you haven't read yet but want to I have not read Not In Love by Aliezer Wood. I want to read it. Uh, I have not read Wild Love by Elsa Silva. Funniest thing is I have not even read Chestnut Springs series finish. I only read Flawless. So yeah, I'm going to try my best. And also Bride by Aliezer Wood. I have it. I actually asked my brothers to pick some books and rap. So I don't know which books they rap because I would like to just pick one and just read, you know. But I realized that Bride is not on my bookshelf. So I feel like Bride is one of the books that was wrapped. <laughs> Anyway, uh, then there's also Where the Sleeping Girls Lie by Farida I Imide. I want to read this book, but I want to buy the hardback because I have Ace of Spades and it's the hardback and I really, really like when, you know, they rhyme in height. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like I'm always way behind when it comes to new releases. So I don't know. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year oh my god it's going to be my vampire plus one which is the book two of this i'm so excited I, that's the only book that is on my head now that i want i i can't wait for it to be hard because i want to laugh i want to feel that feeling all over again so i'm that's the one i'm anticipating the most and any other one i don't know like i said i'm not really current <laughs> Biggest disappointment so far. Oh my god, I have a lot of books that disappointed me this month. Oh my, I mean this year. I keep saying this month. Uh, the first one that I was highly disappointed in is Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Melos. I bought this book because I've seen a lot of rave about it. They say it's this, is that, is this. And honestly, I was so heartbroken and disappointed. I gave it a two stars. My friends that we body read together, they too didn't really give it the best of, <laughs> of stars but i've been thinking i don't know if i should give it away or get rid of this book because we all the three of us have the same copy the same and it was it's so special that way you know but i don't want to keep books that i don't like i don't know i'm not sure i, I would decide the serpent of the wings and night of vampire of tail i don't know that title this book was very very hyped up so Promise and I decided to read it together and what we're expecting is was not what we got. Like, you know when your expectation is so high here, like the way the rave has been, then you read it and you're like, uh... It was not like it was a bad book. It was just disappointing. It was still a four stars, but not as we expected it to be. The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston, I think. Uh, I wanted to read The Seven Years Sleep, but I decided to read this one first because this is i think this was this came out first i read it and i felt like it was supposed to, the dead romantics it's supposed to sound like okay it's a romance between a dead person and yeah we know the story but i didn't get much connection or chemistry between she and the guy i didn't get most like their banter was not enough it was just short and it felt like it was a story about her life not about their romance so it was just disappointing for me i forced myself to read it i don't know I, it wasn't what i expected then the night shift oh my god this one i saw it as a fluffy romance and actually because somebody posted on instagram and i saw this review and i was so impressed by this review i was like oh my god this kind of romance i would love to read and people say it's what party and you know if you're from what i just want to have that nostalgic feeling again guys it was nice in the beginning but then the miscommunication was getting too much. So I, I I just felt like, oh my God, it's not what I expected. So it was disappointing also for me. Biggest surprise so far. When it comes to surprise and books, I'm always expecting the best of books. Like before I pick up a book, in my mind, I'll be like, okay, this is going to be a five star or this is going to be a four star. So when it disappoints me, that's when I feel sad. But I, I don't know. Well, I can say this one. That I just finished reading. Actually just finished reading today. <laughs> when we were Fireflies. This book was not really the fastest book to read. But the way the descriptions of color in this book. The way it was poetically written. And the way. I don't know how to express it. But the quotes in it. Everything. I, I just. Uh, I don't know. When somebody describes color. like And the person is describing color. And you're looking at wow. Like seriously. Seriously. 
Okay, look at this particular quote in this book. It says, The things we die for are sometimes overrated, and when we die, they don't seem as important as we think. Sometimes, a few years down the line, those things don't seem to matter at all. The things people are killing themselves over or are being killed over. That is one of them. <laughs> That's one of them. So, uh, I didn't tell you what it's about because I didn't even know what it was about. So, I feel like it was a surprise for me because I, did, I went into it blind and I body read it with my friends, um, Ore and kenny and i don't know i'm yet to hear their own opinions about it but so far i feel like it was a huge surprise for me it didn't let me down honestly i was just so captivated the beauty of the story in my review i wrote this book is an art it's a journey it takes you on a journey with this guy named lalo yarima lalo he has lived some other lives before and then he starts to get this flashback because of the train and then at 2 14 something always happens it is that someone dies or something always happens that not that particular time so he tries to discover why he was killed in his other lives and then we go on that journey with him with aziza another lady that he met which was a uh, an artist honestly this was really really surprising oh another book that was surprising for me is the traveling cat chronicles i read this while i was traveling to uh ibafo for my friend's wedding and guys Oh my god, I was surprised because I didn't expect it to be that good. I was like, I knew it was going to be nice because I've seen reviews, but I didn't expect it to be that good. It's about this cat that is a stray cat and this man adopted him and something's about to happen. He decides to give the cat to his friend. So we go to his friends and then we now to see the relationship between the man and his friends for each friend they go to. So we are getting the POV of the cat and also um like the narrator's pov and it's really really funny it was funny it was heartbreaking i cried <laughs> i cried but it was so sweet and i feel like it was a surprise you know i didn't expect it i just picked it up because i saw it on someone's status and i was like let me just quickly read this i feel like i'm on a journey so traveling you know <laughs> yeah that book was oh wow new favorite author debut or new to you so there's this arc i read not in my book by katie alt and i think i like a writing style well the the book is not going to be out now it's going to be out in december but i really really like that story and i feel like i want to read more about more from this author oh my god more about this author more from this author <laughs> yeah newest fictional crush honestly i don't know i don't really take note of the i don't really have crazy crushes like that newest favorite favorite character hmm elizabeth zoth i think i love elizabeth zoth she was determined a book that made you cry <laughs> the book that made you cry oh my god i cried um in oh the traveling cat chronicles yes i cried and oh i also cried here tomorrow i become a woman by iwanose odafen in traveling cat chronicles i cried because of how the end was how emotional it got I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to spoil the book. And then in this one, I cried because of a particular scene with Chica. And I feel like these ladies, if they had listened or if they had been rebellious, such a thing would not have happened. I don't know if her name is Chica. I, I can't really remember the names well. But this made me cry also. A book that made you happy. Oh my god. <laughs> so the Traveling Cats Chronicles also made me happy because... In the cat's POV, we see how stubborn and naughty the cat is and we see how it thinks. It's very funny, actually. My eye made me happy, con contrary to a lot of people's opinion. I was just giggling and laughing because it was so funny, to be quite honest. It was very, very funny. I really enjoyed it. Then, ooh, 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 part of your world also made me happy. This book, I have a reading vlog. I'm going to link it up so you guys can actually watch it and see how, how my emotions were. I was just laughing, honestly. Then, another book that made me <laughs> <laughs> happy was this one the mechanics of yanagua by Mikel afemfia this book was so funny because of the no, amount of bad things that was happening to this particular mechanic guy <laughs> it was so funny. oh my god i forgot his name i want to check out his name hebinimi come to think of it i gave this book a 4.5 stars because of how it ended i felt like it shouldn't have ended that way but then i think it's worth a five stars because it was so funny yeah that is the chemistry also made me happy i don't know it was just so funny because elizabeth zot did not really understand some of these things that were being said to her like things that she was supposed to know because she's a scientist she's more like a nerdish kind of character i don't know how to explain but 
it was funny it was funny and there was a dog pov in it also so maybe that's why i like it so much i don't know i really like lessons in chemistry the most beautiful book you bought or received oh 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 my god oh my god so this yeah i received a lot of books a lot guys a lot when i say a lot <laughs> at this point i can't count but i'm going to show you the ones i bought that i feel like are beautiful uh little women i really really like this cover i feel like it's really really cute call me legachi this author has gifted me many of our books and i really enjoy our stories and all when i saw this cover i fell in love i don't know what it is about the cover maybe because the girl looks so realistic but our covers are actually pretty normally but this cover i like i like so much then um my dark desire this one it looks like it's giving this uh peach blossom uh vibe <laughs> just said it like you guys know but whenever i see this kind of tree i don't know i always remember um kung fu panda ugwe i always that's what my mind always goes to i don't know why and then there's now a palace here promise gifted me some books too oh my god this girl but i can't get over how beautiful the art stopper series because she just gave me the freaking box set these are the old books honestly it's not even the front that i, I i'm in love with it's actually the back the back of the books each of them they are so i don't know what fell they are so pretty like they're so aesthetic and i can't wait to read them oh my god what should i read this one <laughs> and this one oh my god they're so beautiful the old freaking books <sighs> then the box it came in is like this so this i'm going to actually uh display i really really like it it's beautiful honestly there are more beautiful books to be quite honest i judge books by their cover i not like judge and give them the ratings but no i mean i judge them but i buy them because of the cover all my books are pretty almost all of them almost all books that you want to you still want to read oh my god there are so many books i want to read guys all the books on my bookshelf i want to read if i decide to start showing every one of them this video will not end book you want to reread oh okay i want to reread two books this year i'm open i'm open i read this as an arc when it just came out like before it came out the rule book by sarah adams i found it very very funny and promised decided to gift me the book so i'm like okay this is an opportunity for me to reread it i found the girl very very um sunshiny and so funny and she was giving a lot of catchphrases and i would love to annotate then i would also love to reread it ends with us by colin Hoover. i want to reread this because i love this book so much i went into it blind it's one of my favorite books but one of my students was talking to me and she was saying something like there was a uh, smut in this book and i for the life of me i can't remember seeing any smut in this book so i'm like okay I, I think it's time for me to reread it and also want to just feel if i would still love it the way i loved it the first time so these are the two books i want to reread before the end of the year books you've been putting off i've been putting off akata series i've been putting off verity i've been putting off love and other words by christian and lauren and it's not like i'm doing them on purpose it's not like i'm doing that on purpose it's just that every time i pick up the book another book just catches my attention and oh akata i'm putting up akata because i feel like i would love it so much that i would want to binge the old books because of the way people talk about it so i'm feeling like okay the day i'm going to read it it's going to be a month where i'm reading the old books that's what I, that's how my mindset was yeah <laughs> five star predictions dance of thieves tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabriel zevin because a lot of people claim it is five stars and also very very life-changing and i'm predicting the great alone by christian hannah would be five stars because my friends read women and they gave them five stars and so many people i've seen read our books give them five stars so i feel like these three books will be five stars oh my god series you want to finish the naturals series by jennifer lynn barnes i already read the two books so two books are left honestly i feel like yeah the story was really really good but i don't really remember in details those books but i would still like to finish it i like to finish shatter me series this year because i feel like i've been elongating this thing i'm presently going to start um restore me soon so the dance of thieves chestnut spring series oh my god i want to finish it because i've only read flawless flawless only flawless why 
Then I want to read uh, Six of Crows. Uh, I already started the Shadow and the Bone trilogy because I heard that it's kind of interconnected. So I want to read it first, Shadow and Bone first, then read Six of Crows. And Mile High, although it's not really, really interconnected, but I want to read this. I've read Mile High um, and I just started um, the right move today. So... The last one is going to be cut up. I'm going to body read that with my friend. And then there's another book coming later, coming up later in the year. So I'm looking forward to that one also. A book you loved that others don't. Well, Mile Eye. I feel like this is very controversial because a lot of people don't like Sanders. And I don't know why. Because it was just so funny. It was, yeah, it was stubborn. But they, they match each other. I really enjoyed this book. I still can't wrap my head around why people are not giving it a chance. But... To hold their own, you know. Reading is the most subjective hobby ever because what might be my best book will be your worst book ever, and then the next book we we'll read can be our best book. So it's just crazy. It depends on the place you are at the moment, you know, mentally and yeah, yeah, all those things. So yeah, I think that's all, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My camera was just all over the place. Um, please let me know which ones are your favorites and answer these questions in the comment section to be quite honest i'm really really curious i want to know what your favorite books were i want to know your disappointment where i wanted to know uh, i wanted uh, what was wrong i want to know everything just let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. wow okay let's get to editing oh my god i didn't take a thumbnail oh i have to use this I can't carry all those books. <laughs> Most anti-pissed. Uh, oh my god, my camera is dying again. <sighs>